This is examples part three of section 2.3. So it says, for example six, find the second derivative. So now I've got to do the second derivative. Well, it's like a cascade problem. You need the first derivative to, to get the second derivative. So I'm gonna first start by taking the first derivative. And in order for me to do that, I am gonna have to rewrite that. So I'm going to rewrite it as one half times x to the negative three. And now I'll actually take the derivative. So one half, bring down my power, decrease the power by one. And if I simplify that, I get negative three fourths x to the negative four, or negative three over four x to the fourth. Now I'm gonna use this version to get the second derivative. So when I'm taking the second derivative, that means I'm going to take the derivative of negative three fourths x to the negative fourth. And so then I'm gonna use my constant multiplier rule and my power rule. So then this four and this four were reduced, a negative and a negative will just be a positive three x to the negative fifth or three over x to the fifth. That is the second derivative. For example, seven, very similarly, except this I can reduce before I take the derivative. So before I take the derivative, I'm going to do x to the, and when you're dividing fractions, it's always the top fraction minus, or the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So I get x to the three halves. Now when I take the first derivative, there's my constant multiplier, bring down my power, and decrease the power by one, giving me one half. These twos will reduce and I will get three x to the one half. If I do the second derivative, three is my constant multiplier, and then if I bring down my power and decrease the power by one, I will get negative one half, and so this is three over two x to the negative half. If I write that in the denominator because of the negative, and then the half is actually a square root. And so this is the second derivative of that expression. Now example eight, I can do as well, the same kind of thing that I did for example seven. So before I take the derivative, let's rewrite this. That's x to the one half minus two over x to the one half. So I took each term over this denominator and I wrote the denominator as a fraction exponent. So then I'm going to have five x two minus a half is going to be three halves. And since there's nothing to subtract here, I'm just gonna get x to the negative one half. Now I wanna do the second the first derivative, I'm sorry, because I was just rewriting this expression. Now I'm gonna take the derivative. Constant multiplier, three halves x, decrease it by one. Constant multiplier, one half, and then decrease the power by one. We can simplify this a little bit. We get 15 over two x to the one half. And then here the twos will cancel, a negative and a negative will give me positive x to the negative three halves. And then now I'm going to do, oh, it doesn't say second derivative, it just says find the derivative. So I'm just going to write this as 15 over two square root of x plus one over and this will be in the excuse me, denominator as a positive three halves, which can also be written as the square root of x cubed.